happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah uh today we got joe rogan um blasting jason aldean's try that in a small town cancellation um and joe rogan asks, what about the rap songs so that's a good question what about the rap songs i'm sure there are many rap songs you wouldn't have to look that far just hop on the what is it the billboards top 10s uh, rap chart and you'll find way worse songs um, that I feel like the left should attack versus Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town. Very patriotic, unifying song, um, bringing our country together. I feel like people from all walks of life, um, no matter your skin, your skin color, your race, ethnicity, your religion, I feel like um, it was bringing everybody together and the left wants to tear us apart. Yeah, we're going to hop straight into it and see what my boy Joe Rogan has to say about this. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel and roll with the 10K. Let's do it, y'all. But the level of outrage coming from people that are upset about that song is so strange. When there are hundreds of rap <laughs> songs out there yeah. that are infinitely worse. Joe Rogan has really been going hard against cancel culture recently, and now he's speaking about the Jason Aldean cancellation, and he's going really hard against that one as well. At first, when the Bud Light situation dropped, he was kind of on the side of Dylan Mulvaney a bit, saying, ah, oh, the boycott's a little bit ridiculous, maybe we shouldn't be boycotting Bud Light that much, and then when he looked into the situation a little bit more, he was very adamantly on the side of the Bud Light boycott, and he's he's very much, you know, against Dylan Mulvaney. He thinks Dylan Mulvaney is a bit ridiculous. On the Jason Aldean situation though i don't think he has ever flip-flopped his opinion he's just straight up saying this is wrong we shouldn't be canceling jason aldean for these lyrics and we'll check out this clip right here this tweet from chief nerd says joe rogan pushes back on the jason aldean critics the level of outrage coming from people that are upset about that song is so strange when there are hundreds of rap songs out there that are infinitely worse and also enjoyable and no complaints at all and that's a quote from joe rogan about the jason aldean try that in a small town cancellation let's check out this full clip from joe rogan Rogan on the Joe Rogan experience right here. People are upset at the Country Music Channel you know, oh, because they, yeah, yeah. the Jason Aldean yeah, Jason song, Aldean Try song. That in a Small yeah. Town. Yeah. The level of outrage, like, now, I'm not saying that that's the greatest song the world's ever known, you know, but the level of outrage coming from people that are upset about that song is so strange when there are hundreds of rap songs out there yeah. that are infinitely worse and also enjoyable misogynistic uh, yeah, uh -huh. qualifying mm -hmm. violence yeah, I mean, they're pretty much, that's pretty much all they rap about, right? Is, is violence and drugs and things like that. And we saw, you know, Ice Spice recently had a music video that was obviously sexual because that's the only reason why she's even famous. But she had a music video that was like really sexual and it had a 16 year old twerking in it. And there's like what? some outrage about it, but not from the same people that are outraged about Jason Aldean. Like it's more the people who are on the Jason Aldean side, the people who are supporting Try That in a Small Town that were kind of going against Ice Spice for having a minor twerking in her music video. Like, it's just pretty wild how they only attack things that go against their specific ideology. They don't actually care about the betterment of the world. They don't actually care about being principled against certain things. They're just like, oh, the right is enjoying Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean put some stuff that maybe the right might like in his song and his music video. Oh, we must cancel it then. We must take it down. That's the only principle that they have in life is just to be a contrarian to the right wing. That's it. The whole oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. And no, no complaints at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're not even talking about old stuff. There's new stuff too. There's 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 hip hop. There's wild rock songs. There's a lot of wild shit, and to be focusing on that one, and it it's the racial aspect of it. It was crazy because like the real Antifa problems that were happening during the BLM. I think it was a lot of white people doing that, right. wasn't it? It was yeah. a lot of like yeah. yes. lost liberal whites who are very angry. That was like ninety percent who yes, decided to take true. up this movement and smash things. So, like, the racial aspect of it, there's nothing racial about the lyrics. Nothing at all. Until they make it racist. Until people like Whoopi Goldberg make it racist and The View and everything like that, man. And so shout out to Joe Rogan for once again actually standing for something because, it, you know, for a while I was kind of iffy on Joe Rogan. And then once 2020 came around, he was actually pushing back against a lot of the mandates, a lot of the jab stuff. And now, you know, the Bud Light situation, whenever that, that first came out, like I said earlier, he was kind of on Dylan Mulvaney's side a bit, kind of against the Bud Light boycott. But now it seems like he's a, he's a lot more principled. 
Well, I feel like Joe Rogan has to be on the other side of cancel culture because cancel culture has recently started targeting comedians a lot more, especially in these last few years. Comedians have been targeted like Dave Chappelle, um, the Sticks and Stones almost got him canceled off of Netflix. Netflix, I almost removed it, I'm pretty sure. But I feel like Joe Rogan has to be an advocate um, against cancel culture because it could hit close to home or it could hit him before he even knew it. So. I feel like that's what's changed his stance. Wouldn't love any side a bit, kind of against the Bud Light boycott, but now it seems like he's a, he's a lot more principled nowadays, especially when it comes to, you know, cancel culture and stuff like that. He stood up for Gina Carano, now he's standing up for Jason Aldean, which, you know, the Jason Aldean situation is kind of up in the air right now, because if you don't know, Jason Aldean actually removed six seconds from the Try That in a Small Town music video that depicted some stuff from the BLM riots, but apparently it was also filmed by Fox Atlanta, so some people are claiming that Jason Aldean was you know there was some copyright issues and jason aldean was forced to remove those six seconds from the try that in a small town music video but he's never jason aldean has hasn't made a statement yet so i would assume that if if that was the case if he was hit with copyright issues then he would probably make a statement jason aldean would come out on twitter and say hey guys like i don't want to remove these things but they're forcing me to because of copyright issues and because jason aldean has made so much money because people are supporting him because of his cancellation. His listens to the Try That in a Small Town song were up like 27,000% or something like that. And and now he's kind of turning on that group of people who were supporting him by removing those six seconds from the music video that he was canceled for. I don't think, I think it's more so because you got to remember that all these artists work underneath the label also. So um, sometimes there's things that artists are not privy to do, um, especially when it comes to speaking out or making statements. Um, sometimes these labels will silence the artists, you know, in order to kind of fizzle out the drama. Cause you know, at the end of the day, Jason Aldean is an artist and he's going to want to move forward in his career. Um, they don't want this to end or, you know, tarnish his career too much to where he can't get back into the limelight. So I feel like it's more so it's got to be the label silencing him. I feel like it's got to be more so the label, uh, you know, received either a copyright from these news outlets saying that they can't use the clips, which made them pull it. And they kind of just said, it's no point in saying anything, Jason, just, you know, keep quiet we're trying to you know fizzle this all out so it would be pretty crazy for him to get hit with a copyright issue have to remove be forced to remove those six seconds from the music video and him not say anything on social media for me this looks like a classic situation of him bending the knee of jason aldean backing down from cancel culture trying to know. make the money from the right also fence ride and not piss off the left too bad we've seen what happens to people who do that like bud light they platform dylan mulvaney but they don't fully back dylan mulvaney and they also fully don't disavow dylan mulvaney therefore you piss off both sides and you lose a ton of money you lose 30 percent of your sales i think jason aldean might have a similar thing happen to him but once again shout out to joe rogan let me know what you're thinking about what joe rogan had to say in this clip in the comments i'm glad joe rogan has finally taken a 100 stance against cancel culture and supporting people like jason aldean even though like i said that situation is kind of up in the air but let me know what you're thinking about this whole joe rogan clip from the joe rogan experience about jason aldean and try that in a small town Yo, i just don't feel like the backlash is coming from the clips or was coming from the clips of the Antifa riots. I feel like the the backlash more so came from the clip in front of the courthouse where everyone was trying to say that there was like a lynching that happened there. You know, and they were just saying that this was just like a super prejudiced clip to place in the video. So as long as that clip's still there and he didn't, I mean, and honestly, they were just trying to say the whole video as a whole was, you know, prejudice and we should cancel the whole video so if a little clip got cut out because of copyright i don't feel like we should go after jason aldean uh if anything we should question the label and see if they are you know it's their doing so yo that was joe rogan blasting jason aldean's try that in a small town cancellation asking what about rap songs yo make sure you guys like this video subscribe to the channel on the road to 10k i'll catch you guys on the next one we oh,